Hey there everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris Ormi. Been away a while, we're back. This is a review of uh, Vagrus, The Riven Realms. It is a 2D strategy role-playing game set in a post-apocalyptic world. Um, dark fantasy, harsh lands, and you're a caravan leader. And you're trying to like recruit and manage your team i believe you're trying to get some trading done you might do some monster hunting done and some beast mastering you might have to do some combat to defend your wares from people trying to pillage your caravan so it's a very interesting concept it comes out of a, a homebrew uh campaign i guess over many years a role-playing game uh, and a lot of good stories have come from that a lot of good book series have come from that the fantasy authors you're going to know them if you know them um but you, if you're a fan of that kind of book you know a lot of them come from homebrew games um a lot of good actual role play games come from that a lot of uh, computer games a lot of board games come from homebrew sort of D and D and other role playing pen and paper games as well as some films and tv ideas there's a whole heap so this is in that vein and i always find that you know exciting because it's usually um those games are very collaborative it's collaborative storytelling at its core and i find that that is a very cool way to build a world and a situation for others to play in because you might be thinking it's going to be one thing and then somebody just takes it into a completely different direction um and you end up with something absolutely fantastic. So, I'm excited to get into this. I haven't dived into it yet. But, um, yeah, this isn't quite released yet. We're still in alpha. You can go to uh, vangrus.com. So, it's V-A-G-R-U-S.com. And it'll bring you to this page. You can help crowdfund it on FIG. That's where it is at the moment. It'll be released some point next year, hopefully. That's their current uh, schedule for it. So you can see, you can explore. Everything is digitally drawn. There's a JRPG combat system in there. There's going to be different ways of doing things. Um, but as you can see, they've been building the world for 20 years. So that's the homebrew stuff. They found Lost Pilgrims. They make a playable demo at the end of last year. They decide to put it up onto FIG this year, and now they're moving towards that beta test um, for release coming soon. On Steam, it's your game jolt and on Indie DB. So yeah, you can basically go and support it and check it out on any of the platforms that you can see and keep up to date on their news. There is a demo for it, so you can go play that. Um, but I haven't done any of that. I've just gone from what I've seen, the art style, which I really like. And, uh, yeah. I think it's about time just to dive into it and see where it goes. Okay, so it says, The setting of Vangress is a post-apocalyptic fantasy world, a dark and mostly desolate continent where life is cheap and resources are scarce. The narrative changes dynamically depending on the player character their ambitions, important moral choices, and simply the direction taken in this vast sandbox world. Different playstyles are encouraged throughout the game. Want to be a trader who carries wares across leagues of deadly wasteland? A crew of mercenary captain who takes on jobs for the highest bidder? Or a plunderer of ancient ruins, seeking forgotten lore and forbidden treasures? You can do all of that and more in Vargas. So yeah, you can get a variety of different races to join you, mutants, dragonkin, uh, undead, half-demons. They fulfill different roles in your caravan, um, which is called a comitatus, and Vagrus is the guy who leads that caravan in this world. So there was some kind of arcane cataclysm um, that sort of this empire, the height of his hubris, kind of imploded, and yeah, it's um, it's now a very dark, dangerous, gritty, apocalyptic world, a post-apocalyptic world. Um, 
So yeah, we'll see a bit more of that. There is an intro, so we will be watching the intro. Um, but yeah, it, it's it looks good, and it's in my wheelhouse. Post-apocalyptic, role-playing-esque, like turn-based strategy. They're all right there for me. Um, the art style, the choices made, heavy law, a lot of reading. It does say a fair amount of reading, so be aware of that if you're going to play it. If you're not into that kind of thing, this might not be for you. But if you are, then hey, I can highly recommend this one from what little I've seen. Um, stick around for a proper sort of uh, recommendation a bit later. It's also the type of thing you lose a lot before you get the hang of. A lot of games hold your hand. This doesn't want to do that, and I applaud them for doing that. Back in the day, we had games that didn't hold your hand so much. You had to learn from your mistakes, and I like that element. I like that element. It can be frustrating, but hey, when you get it right, you know it's because you did things right. The game didn't bail you out. You did these things well. So, no further ado, we're going to dump, you know, jump right into this. Um, I say it is unfinished and everything, so we will keep that in mind. But let's see what they've got. So, Comitatus, noun, plural, Comitati. An armed traveling compan company. It usually carries cargo and passengers across the wastelands of the continent. It can get involved in a variety of jobs ranging from trading to mercenary work. Vagris, noun, plural Vagre, the leader of that comitatus. The River Realms, they call it. What a fine poetic name for something as rotten and twisted as our land has become. It was not always so. Long ago, the old empire, the noblest and most enduring society created by humankind, spanned almost the entire continent of Zerin, the cradle of man. But after several millennia of progress and incomparable achievements, inevitably, the empire began to fall into stagnation and decadence. Desperately holding on to their privileges and resisting change while trying to avert the collapse of the realm, the emperor and his theocracy took to measures that were worthy of true despots in cruelty. Subjugating weaker realms, enslaving whole nations, strip mining foreign resources, oppressing imperial citizens, war on several fronts, genocide. Eventually the gods could no longer tolerate such horrors wrought in their name. Foretold by an abundance of divine omens, they descended upon the Empire to right its wrongs. Thus, in a chain of dreadful events that became known as the Calamity, they annihilated the Empire in a matter of days. The gods then finally saw what they had done in their anger and confusion. It is said that so much grief and shame filled them that they were broken and they left this reality, never to return. The continent and its inhabitants seemed dead, but at length survivors began to crawl out of their hiding holes and faced a land that no longer welcomed them. Arcane anomalies, the fallout of the calamity, now riddled the continent and people realized that they had to share their new home with changed and twisted creatures. <laughs> Terrible beings entered through the cracks in the tapestry of reality and rose to rule over the natives. In time, these new powers rebuilt the fallen empire in their own image, and the river realms, now godless and vengeful, reincarnated from the ashes. The inhabitants of the land, such as I, now eke out a living under the crushing rule of the new empire. The continent itself constantly resists our every attempt at building a cozy home for ourselves. As travel is dangerous, 
Many ventures specialize in transferring cargo and passengers over bleak and deadly leagues of land. Others try to take everything of value from said travelers or attempt to find buried treasures among the ruins of the old empire. The leaders of the endeavors are, some say, the bravest men and women of the river realms. Such a leader is called a Vagras. And that is a pretty good intro. I've got to admit that, that's pretty good. Uh, a few things I noticed there, let me see what... Um, the maps at the beginning, really like those, really like those. They add a lot in for me. Um, a fairly Roman theme there to the Empire. You can see, and like the crucifixions and whatnot. I love the fact that the gods had some flaws and that they were sort of like, you know, getting a little bit wound up over time and then lashed out and then, you know, destroyed the world. And after a while, they felt shame and they depart. And that, of course, opens up for these evil forces to come in from another dimension. That's, uh, the walls between worlds has been cracked open. There are themes we've seen in some other places, but it all ties together beautifully. Um, and I think makes so much sense for the world they're building to have those sort of stuff in place. I love the graphical style. Some of the drawings and paintings and whatnot we've seen, absolutely fantastic. Uh, fantastic, sorry. And the voice acting itself, I really like that voice. Lent some uh, weight, slightly tired, gritty voice of someone living in this world. It's a great introduction to the game. Uh, full marks for that. So, currently no issues in complete content and feature the voice duration for Egos is currently limited to the intro and campfire scene. Some sound effects of placeholders or are missing, animations are missing from character idle in combat, some tooltips are missing, button highlights not yet implemented, crew combat not yet implemented, gear and equipment provide only part of their bonuses, Leader perks and commanding traits are not available. Uh, leader window and prowess windows are still being redesigned. Making a profit through it, trading goods is not viable in Pilgrims of the Wastelands. And the combat AI still has quirks and inconsistencies. So they're not looking for feedback on this. They're looking for feedback on other stuff. So we can replay the intro. I like the color scheme. Like the blacks and whites, and then you get down to like bronze, gold, you know, and silvers, and oh, I love them. The metallics and the darks, dark color scheme, I like as well. And there we go. Builds a celebration of Jerry's birthday. Long live Jerry. Welcome. Um, be like that's so all these people in here. So just look by the names. I'm fairly sure this is a very Hungarian, um, very Hungarian based studio with all the names. I haven't actually looked into it, but we will take that into account as well in case English is not their first language. Let's dive into the options then. Okay, so master volume, music volume, effects volume, tooltip delay. Custom cursor. And no tracking. Okay. Not too many there, but what is there works pretty well enough. Nothing beside remains, roam the decay of that colossal wreck, boneless and bare, that lone level sand stretch far away. From Osmandius by Percy Bish Shelley, 1818. Fitting for the setting. Ah, yes. A Vagrus. What a profession. Daring and savvy. Always watching the horizon. Always looking for an opportunity. And of course, for what is best for his comitatus, eh? And you are a Vagrus too, are you not? Many of your kind have I seen in my long life as a vagabond. Care to listen to a story about your exquisite occupation, good master? It is a tale of woe and terror, 
but it is also a tale that is true, as I have seen it with mine own eyes. Interesting. Um, so I guess we've got to play through this for the first time. So tell us of your tale, old man. It'll at least help kill the time. Wise you are, good master. My tale is of a Vargras such as yourself, but one whose fate was cursed and wrought with ill fortune. It all happened a long time ago. Ten years, maybe more. I was but a passenger, traveling rough roads and forgotten ways with this Comitatus, south along the feet of the great mountains of the west. I thought there may be more there, but no. So we start Pilgrims of the Wasteland. But what I want to say is, I, again, I like the art. We're learning things. We're learning things. Very nomadic camp styles. Um, you know, kind of rustic settings, campfires and whatnot. There's probably little to no technology or little to no magic on a day-to-day -day basis. Looks like we've got twin moons there. And I like the uh, static background and then just lighting effects with this fire and that fire there like i like that i like that a lot let's jump into pilgrims of the wastelands okay so this comet artist i speak of had fallen under hard times perhaps it was due to imperial harassment or unfortunate decisions or simply bad luck. Erephons, Saint of Rhodes, does not always smile on us mere mortals. But however it came to pass, their coin was drying up and their opportunities seemed far and few and far between. One of the last chances their Vagras saw was to travel to the remote town of Scrappy spend their remaining funds to stock up on cheap scrap metal. This metal could be sold for great profit over in the east and south. It wasn't a bad plan, truly, but it was not without risks either. So welcome to Will, uh, Pril Pilgrims of the Wasteland, a standalone story of Vargas the River Realms it serves as an introduction to the setting and also a tutorial to the game. It behooves you to read the tutorial text and follow the instructions to gain a better understanding of how the game works. That um, location icon can be clicked in tutorial windows to show what the section is referring to via a pointer. Note that you have to be on the right UI screen for the pointer to appear, okay? Although Vagras is an open world game, due to Pilgrim's Wasteland being a tutorial, Progresses along a narrow guided path in the beginning, opens up only later after the core mechanics have been introduced. Don't mind that at all. Don't mind that at all. You can open up hotkey list by pressing F11, so okay. So I don't really see a save game. We see load game, we don't see a save game. But the main menu, help, enter, leave settlement, scouting, codex journal, leader chart, crew, companions. Okay, what's the difference between a crew and companions? I guess we might figure that out. Cargo, Deputy Story, Market, Mancio. What's a Mancio? Is that supposed to be like a mansion? Is there a missing N maybe? I don't know. No tracking. Use skills, by a boost, empower, aid, repair, forfeit, sheet, and log. So C for character sheet, I guess. Everything else has its letter there. It's okay. I thought that makes sense. I like that. And again, the whole space, I like that. Because it makes sure that you want to do something. So on the campaign map, the Comitatus Travelling Company always occupies a node. Moves through nodes, uh, between nodes, sorry, through paths. Moving along paths costs movement points indicated next to each path. Every in-game day, you have a number of movement points to spend before you need to camp. I like that. I like that. So up in the top left, we've got... 10 movement there we go okay and we can do a force march if we have extra points there okay 
So really, we can get three to here, four to scrap people, and then three to here. It's probably why this is all grey ducks at the end of the day. We've got two days supply, we've got no cargo, we've got a bit of money, and um, we're in sort of good physical condition, not really good morale. Interesting. Okay, so to move, click on a nearby node, select move. Let me click on nearby mode, select move from the radio menu. You can select a node that is further away. Okay. Most of the story is presented through interactive text called events. Events let you make different choices each step. Some choices can have a number of consequences, while others have various dependencies. Dependencies mean that you can only pick a certain choice if you have the right pre prerequisite skills, perks, characters, and so on. Select a choice, click on it, use 1 to 9 to select the ones you'd like. Excellent. Okay, let's see what this is about then. Having gone ahead of the column with a handful of scouts, you watch from the ridge as your comitata slowly trudges along, making your, its way ponderously through among dormant geezers and broken terrain. All around you, the hills smolder lazily in the perpetual twilight. Are you all right? Javik's voice resonates sympathy as he be appears next to you on the ridge. You nod slowly, but do not look at him. Your gaze lost in the distance where ash cloaks the horizon and the towering mountains to the south and west. Turning to your commas, you note his supportive smile. You and Javek have been travelling around the realms together for years now. There's no other person in the world you trust more than you trust him. Except, perhaps, yourself. I know you feel constrained, but I still feel like I said before, you made the right choice by leading us here. Okay, so, I guess there's more choices. Yeah, no, there's no more choices, but we do scroll. So time will tell, I still have my doubts, it's a long shot, you know it, there wasn't much of a choice, either this, or return my trading license and hanging myself, okay. Um, let's not. It has to work, I, we cannot fail, not like this. So that's a very emotional, sort of, at the end of your, your tethers kind of response. This is kind of a logical thing. <laughs> this is kind of a poor response as well, yeah. Time will tell. I still have my doubts. It's a long shot, and you know it. Javek nods. True. Press better than just giving up. The crew agrees, too. That counts for something, No. It does, yes. Good to know they still have faith as me in me of their Vagras. Perhaps they're just as desperate as I am. Doesn't change a thing, so why should I care? Yeah, it does. It does come for something. We're all in this together. They do have faith in you still, Javek says. It should not come as a surprise since you've known and travelled with most of them for years and years. Some founding members of the Comitatus you could trust with your life. But you have heard stories before about Vagri who have been abandoned for less. Times being what they are. Javik trails off. With Imperials cracking down on us, independence more heavily than before, business is tough. Everyone knows, and they appreciate your efforts to keep us floating. A plan ought to give us another chance. The plan. You talked your travelling company into this a few weeks ago, but with each step towards the western mountains, more and more of them started to have doubts. Such is the way of the road, perhaps. The plan involves a desperate attempt at squeezing a low selling price for metal bits out of an old contact of yours in the town of Scrappy. Stocking up on said metal by spending the rest of your coin and bringing the cargo down south along the molten tongue to Devon via Avernum and Ash. There's a shortage of metal in Devon, and you know several buyers who give a pretty price for your goods if you can only make it there before many others with a similar cargo to them. Such contacts are the boon of desk decades spent on the road. But even if Narmo, that villain, gave you an agreeable price in Scrappy, the road is not without its risks. 
sneaking through the gap between the dead forest and the molten tongue is inviting disaster. So it's not a path many Vagri would take. And of course, if this fails, you have utterly run out of alternative. Do you think Nabo will help us out? The old scavenger was never famous for his goodwill. Javek wonders. I don't know, so... Here we go. We're into the cold. The codex and I like that. Oh, it's got such an old school vibe to it. I love this. Collection of entries you find throughout your travels, entries may contain event information about the world, when you unread entries, the crystal on the cover of the close codex evidence like I like that nice touch. Entries on the left, search and filter with the buttons on top. Um unread map by a blue icon and appear on top. Red icons have a gold icon. Okay. So we can see that, like these are blue, that's gold. Okay. And we can minimize the tutorial down there. So Scrappy is this little thing. Look at this history. Look at the history, guys. Oh, yes, I'm not going to be diving into this right now. I'm not going to be diving into this right now. Oh, we've even got tags. Oh, the Imperial stuff. There's your tradition. There's your culture. I like that. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. It speaks to me, guys. And there's the book. And there's the, uh, the gem on the front. Okay. So, one can only hope. I haven't seen him in years. We always did good business. You're not sure if you remember him. If he's alive at all. If he's not willing, must be able to compel him. Let's hope for the best. I'm sure such sleazy bastards as Nabo would remember all the business they've ever done, Bagras. Javik rubs his chin absent mindedly. Seeing this expression of him too often to not realize he's using his sorcerer's talent to read your mind. Taking a peek. Apologies. Javik quickly rubs his eyes and looks away briefly. You know it is. It comes to me so naturally that sometimes I don't even notice I'm doing it. Your thoughts were loud, Vagras. I have to actually block them, you see. Okay, so... Jean makes a bit of a mind reader. Uh, we're gonna skip over a bit of text because we're running low on time, but... It's a very useful thing to do. Maybe shatter minds, etc, etc. But yeah. Yeah. Maybe no harm meant. So apology accepted. Still a day's travel ahead of us. There we go. As we were coming up to the gates of Scrap Peep, the trash pile town of cutthroats and scavengers, we could see the vast mountain ranges of the shattered Vendathar looming ominously on the horizon. I guess that's some mountains here. Uh, half shrouded in gaseous vapors belched forth by the volcanoes in the far west. I can see some of the smoke. Uh, the planets prayed to the business to turn as fast as they could, not wishing to tarry about in this notorious place. Let's travel to Scrap Heap. Oh, oh, we be there. Okay. Um, when a commentator enters a settlement, you can select from a variety of options, such uh, each with a separate pane, revolving around resting, resupplying, and trading. You also have the opportunity to initiate stories located in the settlement. This time, only the story pane is active. So I guess that's to, like, leave. This is the story pane. That'll be, like, a trade, and that'll be, like, a rest. Okay. So, we're going to go and track down Nabo. Um, he's done well for himself. Um, yada, yada, yada. Okay. So, 
We from Nabo. Make our way confidently over to him. Walk over to the bar, sit down on one of the vacant tables. Like, I would like to get my business done quickly, so probably make my way confidently over. Let's not, let's not drag this out too much. Kind of want to explore some other options, though. Okay, let's walk over to the bar. Don't bother me to encounter those. Okay, wait till he's done. So maybe waiting was better. This is a supplier of meat and mushrooms has surplus on his hands. He wants to get rid of quickly. Okay, so he's been like mind reading. Some trouble with the package. Connection to the heap king. Okay, so by going to the bar, we've learned a bit about hopefully able to resupply and maybe you know something with the package. Let's go over and see. Okay. So apparently he thought we were dead. We tell a story. Okay. So, huh. Unfortunate way. That gives him the advantage. Let's not bring it up. You might know he didn't like threats. That might escalate. Let's just get down to business. Okay. Proposition. Um, so some choices have dependencies. Yeah, okay. Some have tests. Okay. There's a low chance of success for that. There's moderate for that. And this is... Because we've gained the secret about his package. Okay. Interesting. So I'm just going to go with the story option. We know his secret about a package. And it also makes us sound a lot more connected and a lot better sort of informed. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Okay. Averna. Deliver it to an associate. So we hide the package. Okay. Scorner and Avernum. So Narbo sent us. Here's your package. Interesting. So now we can either visit the Heap King or stroll the market district itself. So the journal's been updated a few times. Here's the journal. Okay, so quest, tasks, etc. Okay, so there's the package, a shipment, we need to buy five, uh, sorry, 50, complete the metal, I haven't done that, okay, so when we got them, I guess, or oh, alphabetically, the tasks, okay, interesting. So the market pain is now 
active. Let's go to the market. Um, so find the merchant with the cheap supplies. There we go. Take a look at the local press. So I guess we failed that. Um, curiosity. We failed. So we got to roll under our number, I guess, and we're failing. Okay, so into the market then. So right now we got supplies. So we got a ton of supplies that should keep us good for the journey. And scrap metal here. Okay, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So we just need to buy it all. Coal is used for something, I guess. I don't really know what. Um, supplies will last for five days. I mean, that should be enough. Okay, shift clicking. Drag and drop. Shift clicking the icon. Okay, so... Um, we've still got some money. We've still got some cargo room. Why don't we do that, I guess. Um, Okay, so, I mean, I guess there's... Not really... Anything that can be done here? But we can't seem to leave right now. Okay, so wait till I'm out the money and then... How much do I need? Two and one. There we go. Awnings. Uh, drag and drop. third kind of cargo don't need much okay i don't know why it wouldn't allow us to buy that when we had the money maybe it did but we just sort of uh, jumped past it in my mind okay so one day's three calls okay so we got the inspection. Nice. 
quietly pass out. Have to make it out. We're just gonna nod. Gain some morale. So let me go. It's not bad. Movement of 12. Or if we right click, it also brings up that. Interesting. So. I wonder if we skip things if we go over sections. Crew management. Oh, here we go. So morale. Um, one to nine. If it drops into one, then we can lose. Currently on a six. That's okay. Uh, Vigor's how tired. Okay, so we've got the wandering old man. Uh, upkeep is how much we owe. Uh, we'll keep accumulating the debt, I'd say. And consumption, yeah. So, number of crews. We need a mount and a fighter. Yeah. That should be fine. So we got some workers, some beasts, some slaves, some scouts. Interesting. I'd rather have some outriders. End of the day. We need to camp. Okay. So... Select the tent from the radio that we are on. Um, so we give up more or less surprise, vigor and morale, normal or double wages, crew payments or pay, talk and heal them. Okay, let's talk to Javec. Ask him what he thinks about Nabo's package. Um, what a Vernum. Okay, that's okay there. Who's this? Morwen. Okay. Okay. Demon King. So, what does she think about Javik? Comitatus, everybody does what they want. Okay, so we've got a bit there. No bonuses, no penalties. A plus one, Vigor. But yeah, no, we've, we've set up the Outriders and whatnot. And we've got the Fighters, we might as well do that. We've got enough for a few days. We can consume normal pay, pay later, end day, then, I guess. Guess we may camp again. Our healers get to work. So none of those are hurt. We could learn more, but again, we're just going to check that out. Something is wrong. Oh. Okay, Morwen. 
get to this. I guess this is the fighting tutorial. There they go, oh my god. Or they Jakara or something. So, one six enemies fight against one six companions using the skills uh, made up of rounds. Yada yada yada. So, three positions, certain skills can only be in a certain place. Okay. So, initiative. That shows what they're doing. So, he'll go. And then we'll go, and then he'll go. Vitality of 10, power of 2. He's already a little bit hurt. Vitality of 12. I lost power. Okay. Okay, so we get hurt a little bit. Uh, move more in front of Jarbeck to protect him. Okay. Then Jarbeck. Java can do a mind blast there. Savage kick pushes them back. Okay. Hypnosis. We don't need to do that. Mind blast for damage. Premonition helps us out. Oops. Okay. So how do I click that? Apparently. Oh. Defeat your enemies. Okay. We've got a whole space. Let's boost her up. And they're gonna move up. So she's got two adjacent set enemies. And then move to move to the side. And then mind blast that one to kill it. He's gonna Pin, so it's a little bit of a hit on Javek. We move back to protect. Again, a little mind blast. Sets them up. And I guess a basic attack will be enough just to finish off. A couple of hits taken there, but a nice, nice resolved um, combat. Hostilities, harvest dam critters. Okay, so we got hunting, so we can harvest them. So ivory supplies and beast hides. Interesting. The chart is now active. Okay. Yeah, and look at this. Look how far we can go. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Of course, there's a Forbidden City as well. So that right there is the world. The Molten Tongue is a large 
molten magma. A river that spills out of the molten kingdom. We're right up here. We're working our way around then. So I guess we wanted to go from Scrap Heap through Avernum and Ash. And then to Devon. So a way to go. A way to go so we can mark. And then close the chart out. Okay. Okay, treat him. Treat her. We're all okay. Doesn't seem to be too much more there. Again, we'll just keep on keeping on. So, Force March. It says try not to do it. We've got four more days for our supplies run out. The last pilgrimage. Okay, spectral horrors. Um, I'm not sure if we'd be able to find somewhere to hide or if we should just run. I think hiding would be dangerous. We might lose people if we run. Let's try and hide. I'll try and take a peek at them. I will try and take a peek of them. Okay, minus one morale. Minus one move. Bit of force march. Up the morale. We don't have any money to pay anybody. And we got some voiceless lake. Okay, so let's try and get across. So we don't have cartography. We have scout master and perceptive. That helps us out. We fail. So we just lost a beast of burden. And a bunch of stuff. So I'd rather leave. Common but valuable. So maybe beast hides may be coal. I mean. Okay, we lost a beast, a worker, a slave, and two morale. Morale is going to be tiny. Bomber streak. So some kind of battle. Armed folks being attacked by an dead. Let's go in and attack the undead. Guys, what the hell is that? Okay, deploy companions. Okay. 
okay. Let's put her in there then. Let's put him on that side. Begin the fight. And we get... Body Slam. The Congregated. Wow, that is... Okay, so she can do what? So that's a stray of what she can do. She can kick that back. Pulls him forward. I think we might just want to do an attack there. Um, but yeah, that wasn't... Really great. Okay, very tough. So, um, losing initiative and accuracy. Let's get his accuracy done, because he could just fucking kill us. We don't really want that. So let's see how this fight comes out and finishes, and then we'll uh, we'll get on to thoughts. We run a little bit long on this one, but oh, critical hit. That's not what we want. Aid and inspire. Okay. So prepare, empower, inspire. So I need to click on this and then inspire you, I guess. Okay. Um. Oh. Well, that did absolutely nothing. Three damage isn't a whole heap. But um, okay, let's move her across. Oh my God, a miss and a block! Are you kidding me? So this is going really badly. In that case, this is going really, really badly. I thought that would be perfect. I thought that would be perfect. So there's no real way to help in combat. Fatal embrace. Okay, so she's locked on. <sighs> okay, so so that does absolutely nothing let's get some damage in while we can this is rough this is rough I'm guessing like, he can't really do anything from back here. Uh, 
Um, I guess. them and try and like get up into a good position but yeah this isn't this is a lot tougher than um before she's down Bring her back up. She's only got three vitality. Gonna move her across. Um. Go offer ourselves as a target. It's a miss. That's good. Okay. I mean, oh, I was hoping that would kill. Not exactly what we wanted there. Certainly not what we wanted. Um, like, let's just get some damage. Okay, okay. Go for him. No, don't go for her. God, it's a fucking crit too. It's a crit too. Um, like I don't know if that even did anything. Gentlemen, boys and girls, this is not going well at all. This is not going well at all. Um, I was hoping that maybe did something. Zero damage. There's some kind of death timer there. Okay. So he's now going to move up. Blocks for one. Um. Let's try and protect her as much as we can, I guess. Um. Get some more damage on that. Oh my God, but not going to succeed here. We're just not going to succeed. We don't have any damage. We don't have any healing. We don't have anything to do. Far too much of our stuff had been 
kind of taken away from us. Down to one enemy. That enemy has 15 vitality. Um, however, we really don't have much. We don't do any damage. Thirteen. Let's just try and power up him. Crit six. Okay, so seven vitality left. So Java is almost dead, not quite. Of course we missed that one, of course we missed that one. Fuck. I mean they say brutal, they don't mess about. They don't mess about. Yeah, victory my ass. Victory my ass. Uh. So now I've got a quest to take him on to there. And yet at the same time, I feel we've just like lost ourselves the game. Can add a point in to prepare. I guess. So companions, mortally wounded. Okay. Mortally wounded. Equip her with the luck talisman. Okay. We can upgrade. Okay. So upgrade one of your companion's prowess. Purchase any skills. Bit more perception. Let's get rid of that. Okay, so luckily we didn't actually lose them at all. Well, okay, we've got one day supply. And we've got, it looks like quite a way to go. So, yeah, this could have gone much, much better. This could have gone 
so much better. Um, I can see what it means by very grim, dark fantasy, and I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Okay. So, let's jump into the menu. Unavailable in this build. Okay. Well, let's talk a bit about Vargas then. Um, so, what I see is good graphics, good story. You know, they build the narrative world. They've built the world well. Like I say, that comes out of their homebrew campaign. Uh, and you can feel that there's a lot of love and a lot of detail. So, yeah, story and writing style, the world itself, the artistic sort of, uh, the artistic bent that they've applied to it, um, some of the choices they've made. I'm a big fan of all that. So, the setting is good. Um, the style of gameplay, the turn based, the story driven, the reading, some of the voice acting is pretty good, but um, not everything is voice acted. Um, but I really like that aspect of it as well. The difficulty, the toughness of the game, the fact that you're going to be sort of, you know, losing a fair bit until you learn how to win. I don't mind that. Um, I think that balance feels about right. It feels about right. That felt like a really tough fight. I'm glad we didn't just die outright in combat, that we could heal when we got back. It basically knocked them out the fight, not killed them outright. I'd be sad to lose. I'd be sad to lose Javek at this point. Um, I feel there'd be a story to be told with him. Um, and yeah, and as far as we're on about the, um, the supplies, I mean, we're quite low on supplies, and I think we're fairly far away from the city where we're supposed to go so not great on that point of view we're going to be you know really kind of struggling i think we had some bad luck in a couple of places we had okay bits here and there um but yeah some of the choices we made probably weren't the optimal choices but from a story point i'm really glad that we did what we did so yeah i'm pretty happy i've got to say i like this type of game this style of game i think they implemented their choices really well and those choices so far seem to be working out um and uh yeah for a game that's in progress i think there's a lot of substance already we'll see what happens it's in open access um or limited access but open access if you go and uh basically contribute to the development on fig but yeah pretty happy what i've seen so check out vergras right now uh you can follow it like i said before on uh steam you can also see it on uh itch.io game jolt indie db and on their website which is vagras.com you can go to fig.co slash vagras to uh, join the campaign there. They're all over the place. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Discord. You can check them out. I think they are Lost Pilgrims on Twitter, Lost Pil Pilgrims Studio on Facebook, uh, Lost Pilgrims on Instagram, discord.gg forward slash Vagras, and their YouTube channel, I believe, is called Vagras by lost pilgrims so head on over check it out i'm really excited to see what they do with this and where this ends up uh but so far so good i'm really enjoying that and check out the youtube as well they've got some you know videos which explain certain bits um but yeah so far really good looks good sounds good plays well like the world like the style like the gameplay and excited to see where it goes so vagras the riven realms thumbs up from me early build but we'll see where it ends up as always thanks very much guys for taking the time to be with us long one today but hey we gotta do what we gotta do there's a lot to get through in this game so we're not gonna shortchange you on that but yeah take it easy i'll see you back here very soon till then
Take care of yourselves and go check out Vagras.